Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Batman figure that was produced by DC Collectibles as a part of the Arkham Origins line of 7-inch scale action figures. Uh, before I begin, I just want to apologize. I've been really busy lately, and I haven't really had any time to record any new reviews. But anyway, uh, back to the figure review. I have to admit, I, I was a bit hesitant in getting this figure. Uh, if you've been watching my reviews for a while, then you know I'm really just not keen on buying figures online. Uh, I was pleased with the Arkham City Batman figure that I picked up some time ago. So I really didn't feel that this figure, it, it really wasn't a must-have for my collection. And I really held off on buying it. But uh, as things turned out, I did find this figure for uh, a really good size discount online. I believe it was about 40% off. So uh, when I saw the price on it, I, I decided to go on ahead and buy it. Anyway, uh, the paint apps were pretty well done on this figure. Uh, I thought there was some paint chipping around the right side of his cowl uh, when I saw him in the package, but after I used a slightly moistened rag, uh, that defect magically disappeared. Uh, the only other defect that I did find was on the left gauntlet, where one of the prongs, it didn't have any black paint on it, but uh, I think that's going to be an easy fix. Now, I will say that the flesh tone coloration uh, on this figure, as well as seeing the uh, beard stubble on the exposed portion of Batman's face, I really like seeing that, as I felt it gives uh, the figure a more realistic in-game look. Uh, the eyes were also nicely detailed on the figure, and as was the case with the Series 4 Arkham City Batman that I've previously reviewed, I noticed that the cape on this figure is made of a soft plastic, uh, and it is not removable. Now, uh, most of the articulation joints move pretty well right out of packaging. However, uh, both of the knee joints were frozen in place, and I had to resort to using a hairdryer to free them up. Uh, Batman has articulation in the neck, the shoulders, the upper biceps, the elbows, the wrists, the waists, uh, the hips, and the ankles. Uh, there's also a mid-abdominal crunch joint, and there's also what appears to be uh, a strange type of an ankle pivot joint. So, yes, there are a number of posing options available for this figure. So let me pause here, zoom in, and I'm going to give you a closer look as to what uh, Arkham Origins Batman looks like. Okay. All right, uh, there were no accessories included in the package, so what I'm going to do now is a quick 360 of Batman for you and let you see what he looks like from all sides. Uh, it should be noted that there is a peg hole in his right foot, and that will allow you to use a figure stand if you so choose. Anyway, uh, here is Batman from the front. Okay, here is Batman from the left-hand side. Okay, here is Batman from the rear. Okay, here is Batman from the right-hand side. Okay, and finally, here we are once again facing forward. So overall, I have to say that this figure's a good one, and I have to admit, I like it more than I initially thought I would. Uh, there is quite a bit of articulation, so I think you're going to be able to get some good poses out of this figure uh, once you get the articulation joints properly freed up. However, you know what? At the nearly $25 price point that this figure normally goes for, I really think that there should have been a base included in the package. And I also think it's not asking too much to include an accessory like a Batarang, like we got with the uh, Series 4 Arkham City Batman. So in spite of all of that, I think that the positives do outweigh the negatives on this figure. So I'm going to go on ahead and give Arkham Origins Batman a great recommendation. I feel that it's worth adding uh, to a DC figure collection, uh, and it makes for a really nice display piece. And on a personal note, I think this is going to make an excellent addition to the other DC uh, Collectibles Arkham figures that I have in my collection. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one! Oh yes, and as a postscript, uh, I just wanted to go ahead and give you a size comparison and uh, show you how these uh, two figures look next to each other. Anyway, have a good one. I'll see you soon. Bye now.